Okay, in this video, we're gonna discuss anti-tank ditch markers. Similar to wire, they can be placed in any clear, clear road or a clear hill hex. And you're also gonna take and receive these in the specific scenario that you're playing. They'll be listed down in your order of battle. Do keep in mind that you cannot place them in a hex that already does contain wire or an improved position. Now, similar to how wire is designed to slow down infantry, an anti-tank ditch marcher, uh, marker is designed to slow down vehicles. They are going to increase the movement point cost of a specific hex by three movement points. So in a clear hex like this one here, it would go from costing one point to enter to costing four points to enter. But in the example that I've got laid out here, you can see this tiger only has three movement points. In a situation like that, the vehicle must start adjacent to the anti-tank ditch marker and it'll spend its entire activation taking and moving into that hex. As usual, since this is a movement, it would be subjected to any potential op fire at that time. When it comes to infantry units, they aren't as affected as vehicles are by these markers and they're only gonna to have to pay one movement point extra to take and enter the hex, and there's no penalty when they're leaving the hex. They'll just pay the normal movement point cost of whatever hex they end up moving into. Vehicles, however, are a little different when it comes to exiting, and you have to keep track of which hex you entered from because that's going to affect the movement cost when you leave the marker's hex. So let's go back to our example here of this tiger it's entering from this side of the anti-tank ditch marker. So it spends its entire activation. It would be marked ops complete as usual, but on its next, act, uh, next activation, if it were to take and go to one of these three hexes on the side that it originally or, uh, originated from, it would just pay the movement point cost for those. But if it's going to the far side of where it entered from, it would instead have to take and spend again its entire movement point cost allowance to move to one of those uh, three hexes. So looking at this as another example of this recon vehicle, if it were to take and enter the anti-tank ditch marker hex here, it would spend four movement points, one for the clear hex and then another three for the anti-tank However, if it were to take and continue moving on, because it has two movement points left at that point, it could move into one of these two hexes, one on the side that it originated from, at a cost of only one movement point. However, if it were to go into one of these three hexes, it would have to spend its entire remaining uh, movement points to enter one of those because of the penalty of crossing the anti-tank marker. Uh, one last thing to keep uh, in mind is that you cannot overrun into a hex that contains one of these markers, but you can conduct an assault that in a hex that contains one of these markers.